So the, the problem, yeah, go ahead, Rob. The problem is declining revenues in television. Right? So we've seen more and more uh, people moving from spending their time on watching TV to spending time online. And as a result, you know, ad revenues are decreasing dramatically, subscribers to cable and premium channels are, are decreasing as well. So the reason why people are, might be moving away from TV, I think it's a lack of personalization. And a lack of the inability to pick the content I want when I want to watch it, the ability to interact with my social network, the ability to, to influence my personal decisions, so what if we could combine the great content that TV offers? Welcome, Roy. Okay. Uh, great content that TV offers, right? Because it's best to breed that content there. But uh, enable some of the features and functionality that's available online on the web, right? So really to customize. So what if we reinvent television for the internet generation, right? Okay. So an, an example. Imagine watching a football game where. There are five camera feeds going on at once, but you get to pick which feed is in, you watch at any given time, okay, at, at your control. You get to rewind, pause, and replay anything that you want. You get to put in your fantasy football league, and as you're watching TV, you can see how your team is doing versus everyone else, right? You can get commentators. You, of course, you've got de facto commentators with the, the, the normal feed, but what if, I want, what if I want it in Spanish? Or what if I want someone who's from my hometown versus you know, the, generic, the generic broadcasters? Or if there's you know, crowdsourced uh, stats that are coming up, right? So it, it, same kind of concept applies to news and everywhere else, but really leveraging the, uh, the internet and, and changing the way we produce uh, content on te for television on the production side. All right, so there's the idea. Now you guys all do what I said before. Before you do anything, just name the email. Thanks, good call. Um, this is why we do one at a time. Okay, so go ahead, start shooting away. Have you looked into competition or whether anyone's talking about this already? That's a great question. I have not looked at it enough. Um, so have you seen anything? There's no? Boxy. Okay, and what, what does that Boxy do? Uh, Boxy, they build software um, that's based on Xbox Media Center. Okay. Um, it runs on uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, um, so you can install it on your own home theater PC. We're also coming up with our own boxy box that you can plug in. Um, and it's basically, um, it's a media center, but it also integrates uh, some of the streaming um, that you can get online. Like, they screen script Hulu, so you can um, watch some of, some of that content. Um, and they have this concept of applications, where you, um, people can write like, a plug-in application that will allow you to get the content from some particular provider. So they, I think they have applications for like YouTube or for, um, uh, you know, Revision 3 or these, these sets that are on my country. Um, so it enables me to watch <coughs> online content through my TV as well as normal TV. Correct. Yes. Okay. Well, so much normal TV, right? Yeah. Got, uh, not, yeah. yeah, the, the, content, the big issue with content providers is they, don't, they already have distribution partnerships mm -hmm. with the cable guys and they don't mm -hmm. run all the conflict. <coughs> the part they have is getting that professional content. They, they, have real, internet channels. they also have a social aspect to it. You know, sure. um, when you, I think when you do like, like things, or um, you, can, you can start following people and seeing what other people, I'm not sure if you can see what they've watched, but you can see if they like a particular thing, and uh, if they have a little feed kind of on the main screen, you can see. Um, so, uh, also competitively, you've got Google TV, which allows you to do a lot of uh, the kind of stats that you can talk about sports. I think more to, to your point is, is changing the way that content is produced versus the way that it's delivered. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. Or monetized. Which, yeah. if you're going to do that, if you change the way content is, now you're talking about a huge amount of infrastructure, and you're going to have, and that sounds to me like a big organization, CBS, NBC, something that's going to be able to finance that rather than a, a startup. Yeah, absolutely. Well, well startups are cool. in all shapes and sizes, right? We're going to change yeah. the world today. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, 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 I think Roku. You, you can actually produce a stream. Okay. So if you get, the, it seems the way that like you could maybe uh, backdoor it in is if you make, you start producing on the fly Roku streams to boxes. I think, you could, I think they have the idea of a channel that streams to it. Uh, R O K U? Yeah. Right. I have a Roku box, but the next generation of Roku boxes are going to actually put in uh, USB connectors into them to be able to do all kinds of things. Do anything, yeah. 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 yeah so right. so but you're not talking about live TV. I mean, because you're talking about uh, broadcast rights, NFL, you know, well, rights to that. I mean, if you, you, you want to make, like make a demo, you can backdoor anything you want. Nobody's going to care about your demo. Well, they might, but 
Uh, if, yeah, if you want to throw something together, just try it out. Yeah. Yeah, all right. All right, cool. All right, so th this is great. Everyone's, you can great job, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly how we do it. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, so I'm going to cut mine short because I want to make sure that we get as much time as we can for everybody else.